In this video, we will make an easy sugar scrub with just a few but amazing ingredients. Our base is actually a soap that is designed to be whipped. It's called a foaming bath butter and mine comes from Stevenson. You will find the link in the description, just like all other tools and ingredients that I am using or recommending. I'm going to use half of it for this recipe and I'm also going to cut it in small chunks to make the whipping easier. Let's add this to a bowl. Our next ingredient is shea butter. I did cut mine in small pieces also for practical reasons. I'm going to add these to the foaming bath butter. Now we can proceed to mix both ingredients. I like to use a hand mixer because I feel that I have a better control on the mixture but you can use a stand mixer as well if you prefer. There is an affordable option that I linked below as well, because of course not everybody can or wants to invest in an expensive KitchenAid or Kenwood. As you can see, I am mixing first on a low speed, just because I want to get through all the hard clumps and get it to a point where the batter will be more manageable. I am not going to show you the entire process because it would be too boring for you to watch. Now that the batter is getting fluffier, the whipping gets easier and we will start to increase the speed and the foam is going to increase a little bit in volume as well. You will find, of course, this exact recipe down in the description box below. Make sure that you scrape the sides so that everything is fully mixed in. Once you see that you get to this consistency and everything is nicely blended, we will go ahead and add our main ingredient, the sugar. This is just regular white sugar that you can find in any store. Sugar granules are rounder and less abrasive than salt making them a gentler exfoliant. It breaks down layers of dead skin and smooths the skin surface. It also speeds up rehydration, keeping the skin conditioned and moisturized. We want to just fold it in, in our mixture, just with a spatula at first. Then we will take the mixer again and give it a good mix. This is a great product because it is a soap and it is a moisturizer at the same time and it exfoliates your skin. You won't need to put cream on your body after you showered with this scrub here. Now basically this in terms of performance is our finished mixture. Now we of course want to go ahead and put some color and fragrance to it but this is an optional step. So let's see what kind of ideas that we can create. I'm going to transfer the mixture here to another Mixing bowl. Of course, color and fragrance are completely customizable according to your personal preference. Now I'm going to add some yellow mica. 
When adding color to your products in general, make sure you go step by step. You can always add if you're not happy with your coloration, but you cannot take it back if it's too vibrant. Now, when everything is uniformly mixed, you can add your fragrance to it. You won't need much, usually 1-2% to is enough for such a product. Check on the website of your fragrance supplier though to be really sure. This one here is a lemon fragrance oil. Smells amazing. After a good mix, we are ready to put it in our container. I found these adorable ice cream or frappuccino cups with lids and I thought it would be a great idea to have it look a little bit like an ice cream. And uh, here are the ice cream scoops. Let's try it. It makes the jarring much easier this way. You could also pipe the batter if you wanted to, but it's a little bit hard, especially if you're starting off, because the sugar is very heavy to get through the piping bag. I prefer this method here, personally. It's much easier and cleaner and neater, so I think this looks really good. Let's try another type of scrub. Here is a dark pink mica and we are going to mix it in just like we did before until you are happy with the intensity of your color. I'm adding the fragrance oil black raspberry vanilla fit into the color and then give it a quick mix again to make sure that all the fragrance oil is nicely incorporated and then we take our ice cream scoop again and we scoop it into the little container here. You could also use a glass jar or different types of containers. There are different kinds of variations and ideas that you can come up with. I think this looks really cool. So let's make a light green one. This is another mica here. Give it a mix again. This reminds me a little bit of pistacchio gelato that you can get in Italy. I don't know if you know this where you live. Give it a good scrape again on the sides, making sure that all the color is incorporated. Then we're going to put a fragrance again. This is a pineapple type of fragrance. Smells just amazing. It's great for summer type products. Like I made some pineapple soaps with it. It was absolutely amazing. We give it a mix again. And then we add it again to our containers. Here we go. Looks amazing. Smells amazing. If you don't have such an ice cream scoop, you can just also spoon it into the little jars. It's absolutely not a problem. Here we go with all these scrubs here. Now I want to go ahead and add some little decoration to it. These are some little melt and pour soap embeds that I made earlier on. I'm just going to add it to the respective scrubs here or ice creams. You want to make sure that people don't eat these, you yeah? know, very important. And then I found some nice paper straws in different colors here. I thought they would fit well to this type of design here, just to make things a little bit more fun. I'm just going to cut it to size and then add it to the scrub. There are many other skincare DIYs here on my channel that you can check out, as you can see here on the screen. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're interested in other soap making videos or skincare DIY. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I hope to see you around here very soon for another video. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!